When we talk about carrier signals, we're talking about ways in which we can transmit our data. Now, when it comes down to it, all we're sending is a bunch of ones and zeros, part of what we call binary communications. And those ones and zeros, when put together and read by an application or you know, whatever it is that we're uh, using for the communications, we'll understand what the message is. Now, those ones and zeros could be sent by uh, light through fiber optics. It could be sent by uh, electrical current through a copper wire. It's just a method of being able, we have to have a method or some sort of media to carry the ones and zeros. In this case, we're going to use radio frequency. And, um, and so that means that our transmitters need to have a way of being able to send the ones and the zeros from one location to another. Again, the idea is that the receiver would understand the pattern of information and would be able to decipher the ones and zeros being sent so that we can put that data together. Now, if a signal fluctuates or if it's altered, even slightly, then the signal hopefully can still be interpreted so that the data can still be properly sent and received. And, um, and so this is called the carrier signal. And in fact, what you're going to see is that uh, sometimes we purposely see fluctuations in that signal to help uh, identify the ones and the zeros.